Yeah, no way. That's quite the side ever, man. Had a lot more power and pickup than I expected it to. It's really shocked how good it'll come out of the turns. It's nice. Let's put some fuel in it. It accelerates pretty good too. I just I really expected a much milder package than what, what's in there. Um This is an LS3 out of the Corvette. Um, the pistons, rods, camshaft, valve springs, push rods have all been changed. Um, we use a truck manifold rather than a Corvette manifold um, for uh, cost reasons. Um, stock blocks, stock heads, they're not even, don't touch them. I mean, stock valves. So you're on what kind of uh, production train? Yeah, this is uh, the actual production GM crankshaft. And rods? Aftermarket rod and piston. Yeah, aftermarket, yeah, aftermarket rod, rod aftermarket piston. piston. Um, and what kind of compression do you have This on is it? 11 to 1. Flat top piston. Um, the intake valves are one, uh, one, uh, 2 inches, 165 diameter. So they're very similar to like an 18 degree size intake valve. If you're familiar with that at all. Larger than you'd run in a 23 degree head, you know. And, so uh, the typically, intake valve, what does it cost to send it in and get it rebuilt and freshened again? Get a rebuild that we've done. We just did a rebuild for a, one of these engines um, that ran like I think we had 6,600 laps on it or something like that. It was two seasons they raced in Milwaukee. Uh, it was about five grand for the rebuild, but we did uh, quite a few upgrades to it too. We put the rod and piston in it for one thing. Stock originally, so that added some cost, you know. But I would say 3500 probably is really realistic. Uh, it's hydraulic roller camshaft, so we just change the lifters, you know. And then the valves are uh, uh, hollow stem intake valves that weigh 87 grams, so we'll replace the valves during a rebuild. See you later. Springs, you know. The valves are about 30 bucks a piece. Thanks, John. So, all right, man, thanks for helping. Hope you had fun. So it's going to vary depending on what we decide at the end of the day, but I'm going to say 35 is probably going to be pretty realistic. And the base cost original is going to be anywhere from 12 to 14. We're we're looking at a 13 to 15 thousand dollar range. At the end, we had to replace the block and both cylinder heads, which would be highly unlikely. But a long block, if you will, it's about 6,600 dollars for that piece, all brand new. At the end of the day, I, I seriously doubt you change all that, but hey, you know. Um, the cylinder heads, brand new, um, are about $1,200 complete. No valve, no rocker arms on them. Yet. So you can't buy castings for that. They weigh 24 pounds a piece, cylinder heads. The total package uh, is 380 pounds. Uh, there's 48 GM part numbers to do the build of the engine, and there's 52 aftermarket part numbers, so it's about a 50-50 deal um, from the headers to the bolts to the air cleaner to each of the connections we use, so on and so forth. So, so aftermarket's a very big part of this, more than a lot of people don't realize that. So, and if, That's if, my, I'm uh, really big on that. If you had a series using this engine, you always have some on the shelf, so the guy has a harmonic balance. Yeah, it's got a VTI damper on it. 
all the stock, all the components coming on the front of the engine are, are production. This is actually considered to be like an F body Camaro, like a 2004 Camaro. And so here's the uh, power, power steering. steering. Yep. Alternators underneath it. So it comes with a pan and everything? It's complete. I told you. Engine, injector, computer, wiring harness, radiator, oh, headers, 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 oil, oil tank for between 13 and 15 grand. Radiator? You will need it because you have your setup right now. So we got to figure out how much it's going to cost with the stuff we don't need for the other guys. Yeah. But a brand new builder. A brand new builder to have the If you had to buy a brand new car, you're done. Is that For a savings? three years, yeah. Until we start taking them apart and tweaking them. You're not can't. taking them apart. Right? You can't. You ain't got oh. it. We have control of the computers. You'll just you'll draw pills happen. or whatever, and they'll be all numbered. You draw a pill, that's the one you get. It's not hard. ASA did it so successfully, didn't they, Paul? I think everybody was pretty amazed. I know we were we were super happy that it you know it's very competitive. It's going to be a competitive engine, um, and again you know with a half days of testing on it, we're running the front pack um, against open motors, which is huge. I think everybody was impressed. Though. Mm -hmm. I really do. They got the crate mentality out of their heads. I think. Yeah. You know, it's not a slow crate motor.